Hello everyone, it's Miss Chelsea at the Black Creek Library and welcome to Pajama Storytime. May is National Nurses Month and nurses are community helpers that take care of us when we're sick. They work alongside doctors to help patients feel better. So today we're going to read about some things that nurses do. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. The first book for today is Nurses. This is a true book about what nurses do. This is written by Quinn M. Arnold. Hello, nurses. Nurses take care of people. They help sick people feel better. They teach people how to be healthy. There are many kinds of nurses. Most work in a hospital. Others work in a clinic or school. Some visit patients at home. Nurses run tests. They give people shots and medicine. They clean cuts and scrapes. Some help doctors do surgeries. Nurses listen to patients. They talk to doctors and families. Nurses answer their questions. Nurses use a stethoscope. They wear clothes called scrubs. They wear gloves too. These help nurses stay healthy. Nurses help people of all ages. They keep communities healthy. Goodbye, nurses. And it says, picture a nurse. Swab, gloves, that's the patient, that's the nurse, and these are her scrubs. And that was nurses. All right, the next book is a Doc McStuffins book called Doctor's Helper. This is written by Sheila Sweeney Higginson and illustrated by Mike Wall. Doc McStuffins is having the best game of hide and seek ever. Ready or not, here I come, she calls to her toys. Oh, we're ready, Doc, Stuffy yells from behind the slide. Stuffy, shh, Lamey whispers. Doc is not supposed to find us. Is it okay that I found something hiding? Chili asks. Doc walks over to take a look. Stuffy and Lamey go over too. They all want to know what Chili found. They, see, they spy something long and curvy behind them. It's not a dragon tail. It's not a jump rope. It's a trunk. And that trunk belongs to a toy elephant. I asked her name, Chili says, but she didn't answer. Doc picks up the little elephant. Can you tell me your name, she asks. The elephant tries to answer, but she can't. Her shoulders start to shake. 
she waves her trunk in the air. Doc hears her sneezing and wheezing too. This doesn't sound very good, says Doc. Stuffy, Lammy, and Chili leaning closely. I hear it too, Doc, Stuffy says. She's trying to talk, but she can't. Don't worry, Lammy says. You're lucky we found you. Doc is the best at fixing toy troubles. How will we know who she belongs to if she can't talk to us? Chili wonders. First, we'll take her to the clinic and find out what's wrong, Doc says. Then we'll figure out how to get her back to where she belongs. Doc and her toys head to the clinic. Hallie, Doc says, we found this little elephant in the park and something's not right. It's time for a checkup. Howdy do, sugar, Hallie says cheerfully. I'm as happy as a hog at a hoedown to meet you. My name isn't sugar, the elephant gasps. It's Ellie. Doc takes Ellie into the examination room. She uses her stethoscope to listen to Ellie's trunk and chest. Ellie's shoulders start to shake again. Ellie, don't take this the wrong way, says Hallie, but you're wheezier than a walrus with a whiny whistle. I know you're upset, Ellie, Doc says, but I think that's making your wheezing worse. Lammy, I have an important job for you, says Doc. Would you give Ellie a cuddle while I check her? Of course, Lemmy replies. One cuddle coming right up. Do you have any jobs for a brave dragon? Stuffy wonders. As a matter of fact, I do, Stuffy, Doc replies. You could hold Ellie's hand to help her stay calm. Ellie breathes in and out, in and out. Finally, she starts to relax. Ellie, I'm going to look inside your trunk, Doc says. I want to see what's making it so stuffy and sneezy. That might be why you're wheezing, too. My cousin starts to wheeze whenever she's near a cat. Then Doc shines a light inside Ellie's trunk. Aha, she says. I see what the problem is. Ellie. You have a case of stuffy trunkatosis, Doc explains. She writes her diagnosis in the big, big book of boo-boos. Stuffy Awata, who's this? Stuffy stammers. I hope she didn't get it from me. No, Stuffy, Doc laughs. Stuffy trunkatosis. It just means there's a lot of dust and dirt inside Ellie's trunk. It was windy in the park so it must have blown in there. That sounds serious, says Stuffy. Don't worry, Stuffy, Doc says. We'll fix Ellie up and she'll be fine. Doc grabs a special tool. I'm going to use this to rinse the dust and dirt out of your trunk, she says, and I promise it won't hurt a bit. Ellie squeezes Stuffy's hands a little tighter. Stuffy squeezes back and tries to look even braver. When Doc is finished, Ellie says, Thank you. I feel so much better now. Then why do I still see tears, honey? Hallie wonders. I have to find Sam, Ellie says sadly. I'm more than just Sam's toy. I'm the doctor's helper too, she explains. Sam has allergies and asthma. Asthma makes it hard to breathe sometimes, so I remind Sam to take long, slow breaths. What's Sam like? Stuffy asks. Maybe I can fly around and do a search. You can't really fly, Stuffy, Lammy reminds him. You're a toy. Stuffy's right, though, Doc says. Tell us all about Sam so we know what to look for. Looking for owner, freckles, red hair, six years old, Sam. Ellie tells them everything she can remember. Lammy, Stuffy, and the other toys get to work. Breathe easy, Ellie, Doc whispers. We'll find Sam soon. Doc 
Doc heads back to the playground the next morning. After all the posters are hung, Doc looks around for Sam. She sees a boy with red hair on the slide and races over to him. But it isn't Sam. She spots a girl with freckles jumping rope and runs over to her. She isn't Sam either. What if we never find Sam? Chili cries. Take a deep breath, Chili, says Ellie. Ellie's right, Doc agrees. Breathe easy. We have to find Sam, and we will. Suddenly, Doc notices a grown-up looking at one of the posters. Everyone goes stuffed, she whispers to his toys. A girl with red hair and freckles is looking at the poster, too. Doc wheels her wagon over to the girl. She is Sam. I think I found your elephant, Doc says to the girl. Ellie, Sam shouts happily. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for finding Ellie, Sam says. I thought she was a loss forever. You're welcome, Doc replies. Now that Ellie and Sam are back together, I can finally breathe easy, says Chili. You're really the best at fixing toy troubles, Doc, Lemmy says. And lost owner troubles, too, Hallie adds. Good work, Doc. Thanks, but I couldn't have done it without all of you, Doc says. You're the best doctor's helpers ever. And that was Doc McStuffins, Doctor's Helper. The last book for today is Helping You Heal. This is another true book about doctors. This is written by Sarah Walrev and illustrated by Eric Thomas. Many people in your community have jobs helping others. What do nurses do? Nurses take care of you when you're sick and teach you ways to stay healthy. Nurses work in offices, hospitals, and schools. Nurses check your weight. Nurses measure you. How much did I grow this year? Nurses take your temperature and check to see how hard your heart is working. This is called a blood pressure cuff. Nurses play funny buzzing or ringing noises in your ears. This machine checks your hearing. Nurses ask you to cover one eye and then the other. Your eyes are fine. Sometimes nurses have to check your blood or give you a shot of medicine. What color bandage would you like? Nurses wash cuts and put cold packs on bumps and bruises. I fell off the swing. Nurses help you feel better. Nurses help you heal. These are some cool facts about nurses. Here are a few. A nurse named Florence Nightingale started nursing as we know it today. British soldiers called her the lady with the lamp because she walked the hospital halls all hours of the night holding a candle lit lamp. In 1860, Florence Nightingale started the first school for nurses at St. Thomas's Hospital in London, England. Every year, Nurses Week is the week of May 12th, Florence Nightingale's birthday. Hospitals were used in India more than 2,100 years ago. The oldest hospital still in use today is in Paris, France. This hospital was started more than 1,300 years ago. And here are some tools for nurses. 
and these are some things that they do. An audiometer checks hearing. A blood pressure cuff is to measure blood pressure to see how hard your heart is working. A patient chart is to record patient information. A stethoscope is to listen to the heart and lungs. A syringe gives shots of medicine. And a thermometer is to measure body temperature. And here are what they look like. And that was Helping You Heal, a book about nurses. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed listening to some true books about nurses and learning about some things that they do and also the Doc McStuffin story, learning about how they can help doctors. See you later, alligator. So long, King Kong, in a while, crocodile. See you next time. Bye-bye.